Hello and welcome. My name is Convenant, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to manipulate the strings with these essential functions. We'll be using the count card function, the left function, the right function, and of course, the mid function. We have some fun content to cover, so let's get started. Now, we have this uh, employee information recovery sheet, right? We have the employee name, the employee first name, and of course, the employee ID. Now, we have some empty columns that we also need to extract from this already given information, right? We have the department code, we have the department ID, we have the asset category, and we have the email. Now, we've been giving notes, tips on how to do this extraction. So, take for example, we currently have the employee ID, right? I want to extract the department code. Now, what is our department code? The department code is the first three alphabets from the employee ID. The first three alphabets from the employee ID, which means when we look at this first employee, we want to extract the EMP. The second one is also EMP, EMP. We also want to extract CDD, OAP, and the rest. This stands as the department code. Now, to extract this particular information, which is the first three alphabets, we would be using one of the test functions. It could be either left, right, mid, or concat. Now, in this situation, we would actually be using the function called the left function. The left function and that is because we are extracting from the left of this uh digits right so now in order to use the left function i'll come under my department code column and then i'll type is equal to left now what does the left function the left function returns the specified number of characters from the start of each string now what is it the left function asking for the left function is asking for the test, right? The test where you want me to extract from, and of course the number of characters. Now for the test, I'm going to click on the very first employee ID. Alright, I'll do is equal, I'll do comma. Now it's also asking for the number of characters. So the department code is made up of the very first three alphabets. So for number of characters, I'm just going to hit three, right? And then I'll close my brackets and I'll hit enter. Now you can see that I've been able to extract the very first three alphabets using the left function. So all I have to do now in order to replicate this for the um, subsequent rows is to come to the first one and then double click inside and then I have it replicated for the first one. So that this is to show how to extract using the left function. Now to extract our department ID from the same employee ID. From this same employee ID so let's see how to do that extract the first three digits so now what I want to do here is from this employee ID that we have immediately after EMP we are to extract the next three digits so in this case that will be one two three in this case that will be seven eight nine but however you don't want to do that manually typing it by yourself one after the other so we need to know what test function we can use to extract this particular information and if you look at this, you see that 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9, in some sort of ways, is sitting down in the middle of this particular information that we have here, this particular highlight that we have here. So what that means is that we'll be using the mid function. The mid function. So how do we use the mid function? I'll come back to my department ID column. I'll do is equal to mid. So the mid function returns the characters from the middle of the text string, giving a starting position and length. So I'll open my bracket. So what test do I want to use? Click on my employee ID, comma, start number. So now the start number is the number immediately after the P that we have here. So if you look at this now, we have EMP123456, right? So and the department ID is the first three digits. So when we are when we start our counting, right? So E stands for one, F stands for two. P stands for 3 and 1 stands for 4. So our start number is going to be 4. Right? Our start number is going to be 4. Comma. So what is the number of characters? Number of characters to be extracted is what? 3. Right? 3. So when I put 3 and I close my bracket and I hit enter, right? I've been able to extract 
the next three digits after the department code right after the department code so i can just hit this and then double click down and i have my department id replicated for the remaining employees right now for the asset category how do we extract the asset category the asset, the asset category is our last three digits the last three digits from this same employee id which means for this first person we want to extract four five six zero one two six seven eight and the rest right so to do this we'll be using the right function the right function so this is it got right is it got to right so to extract the right function is also asking for the test argument and number of characters so I'll take this as my test function as my test argument comma the number of characters is going to be what three since that is what i'm trying to extract the last three so when i type three i close my bracket and then i hit enter i have this extracted and then i can double click and I have it replicated downwards as well now the last function here now is to use the concat function so basically what we're trying to now do is we want to create the email address for these employees so we're using their first name so for this first employee, we have Joshua, the second one we have Baba Tunde, the third one is Claire. So what we want to see under this employee column is Joshua at Alpha F, which is the company name dot com. Right? Joshua at Alpha F dot com. That's what we want to see. Right. So what that means is to do that we'll be using the concat function to bring all of these different all of these different tests together. Right. So I'll come here, I'll do is equal to concat. Is equal to concat. Now the concat function is going to be asking me for the different text that I want to join together. So is equal to concat. Test one is going to be the first name, right? First name, comma. Now, so we want to do first name at alpha f dot com, right? So since I've been able to supply the first name, now supply at. Since at is going to be in form of a test, I have to put it in double quotes. So use my first quote, at my second quote, comma. So the third test now is going to be alpha f, right? Alpha f, comma. The last test is going to be the dot com. So I have to put that as well in a double quote too. So I'll open my first double quote dot com, close my double quotes, and then I have to close my bracket as well. And then I can hit enter at this point. So I now have Joshua at alpha f dot com. Click on the first one, and then I double click so it replicates for the remaining employees as well right so that is basically how to use the concat function so in this video we've discussed how to manipulate test strings using the concat left right and mid function i hope you've learned a chain or two thank you so much for watching and see you soon bye for now